Hello everyone, this is Jonathan J. Dog Letterman and you're watching the Anything Bucket on WRPBI TV. We're very fortunate to have a spectacular guest this evening. Uh, she is from AdvoCare and AdvoCare Cares. They do case management, care at home, care technology. She is a registered nurse. She's someone that believes that service to humanity is the best work of life and she is on your side. Please welcome Amy Siegel to the Anything Bucket. Amy, welcome. Hi, nice to meet you. Great to have you here in the studio. And we were talking on the phone a little bit about uh, AdvoCare and, and, and your background and how it all came to fruition and what your vision is. And if you could uh, give some insight to our viewers on what you do, because this isn't in-home nursing. This is more of an advocate service That's for right families to know what type of care their parents or loved ones or, or even children should have. Yeah, that's, that's exactly so, Jonathan. Um, AdvoCare was founded uh, approximately 14 and a half years ago to support seniors who are down here in South Florida. Um, our service area is anywhere from Dade County all the way up through North Jupiter. Uh, I founded AdvoCare because working in the hospitals, working in the facilities, I was constantly, I like to say that my lab coat was getting a, a little hole on the sleeve where the seam was. The people that were pulling on it were not the, the patients in the beds, but the adult children that live out of town that were feeling very stressed about after mom had a stroke, how are they gonna manage the care? They have to go home back up north to their lives, their jobs, their children, their responsibilities, but here mom was in a hospital bed and was going to be there for a couple of more weeks. The neighbors could not be relied upon to handle all the moving pieces. They might be, be able to hire a nice caregiver, but how are they really going to know what's going on? And then there are all the doctor questions and the discharge <laughs> issues. And so I started to see, uh, I like to say that a coconut dropped on my head in the hospital parking lot, and I started this work of advocacy for seniors and their families who live out of town although we do have some people that live locally that need the support and the care coordination that have busy practices or lives and can't necessarily be at every doctor's appointment. So what we do is we embrace that client. It doesn't have to be an elderly client. We've had younger clientele with a catastrophic or a chronic traumatic injury. We assess the situation. We advise the family based on all our years of my team is very medically savvy, have a lot of medical credentials. We advise the family on what needs to happen and then we set up a care plan or a roadmap. And then after we do that, we manage all the moving pieces. So and that's excellent because it's so important in all that we do, be it mm -hmm. business, care for our loved ones, even when we go out to eat, right. plan in your work and work in your plan. Right. And knowing what's available because all of a sudden you're thrust in, mom or dad got sick. And now you as a child, you're thrust into this whole new realm. Unless you were trained in psychology, in the medical profession, it's all new to you. And it's, what do I do now? That's right. And I have some extremely intelligent clientele, the adult children that live out of town, doctors, nurses, attorneys, medical professionals, and they say, you know, I'm great at what I do, I know my profession, neurosurgeons, but down there in Florida when my mother's going from doctor to doctor, I, it's a still a different community, it's not my medical community. And even those intelligent people are, you know, uh, looking at what questions do I ask, who are the, pri who's the, what is the priority issues, because what we actually tell our families over the phone isn't exactly what's really going on in that house because we, you know, seniors and their and their relatives do not want to worry their adult children up north. They don't want to burden their families. They don't want to have their kids continuously coming down and you know finding last minute flights and renting cars and then getting here and trying to figure out issues. All that goes away when we're on the case because we're prioritizing the plan. We're looking at what is important now, what might be a later you know, situation to tackle. And then because we've been in this community and the medical community for so long, we know the right physicians to go to. We, write, we know the right facilities to go to, the right uh, treatment centers to go to. And then we're managing all those moving pieces. So it takes a lot of stress off the adult family members living in other places. And, and they often say to me, Amy, Oh my God, 
I can now concentrate on my job. And that's so good because it's, you know, giving that family member confidence. Uh, because it has to be difficult 2,000 miles away or you're halfway across the country and what's up with mom? And being able to pick up the phone and call you and to oh, get a report a or to get an email back and forth Absolutely. to know everything's okay. That's got to be very reassuring to a family. And to reassure my viewers, if you have any tips that you can give them when seeking somebody that does what you do, what are some of the questions they should be asking? What are some of the credentials they should be looking for? Okay. Um, it is really important to make sure, just like any other service you're looking at, that you look for a certified uh, geriatric care manager, somebody that is affiliated with the National Association of Geriatric Care Managers. All my people are registered nurses or licensed clinical social workers. They have years and years of experience. We are on call for our clients 24-7. You want to make sure that your care manager is on call. We go to the emergency room in the middle of the night. You want to make sure that you're, you, you, the people that you are hiring are, con, are in the community for many years and are experienced at this type of work. And that is what we pride ourselves on. We communicate with our families um, ongoing. We are the advisor and the medical advocate and the nurse in the family. Amy, I was very intrigued. You were talking about being on call and being there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And, yes. Uh, expanding your business and uh, you had mentioned when we spoke about this new transitional program to get people into the right environment. If you can expound on that a little bit, let the viewers know because that's very important. I remember when my, my grandmother was alive and she was uh, living at Willowwood mm -hmm. and getting her in there and knowing that it fit her needs and how important it was because the assisted living facilities, there's so many to choose from but not every assisted living facility is the same. So if That's you can right. help us, uh, again, what to look for, how you help your clients to make that transition to get the proper care and the proper facility for their loved ones. Yes, that's really an important concept and we have um, in, embarked on a program called our Life Transition Program, our Life Transition Care Management Program, where we embrace our client um, in a transition stage. For instance, if there were two people living at home and they were doing well and unfortunately one passes on, it can be lonely at home. There are issues where sometimes it's not the best scenario to live at home. There's no more neighbors locally. So we help that senior or client by assessing the situation, meeting them, knowing them, understanding who they are and what makes them tick and what their habits and dislikes and likes are. We find them the correct environment to take care of their needs socially, emotionally and physically and then we help with the entire transition such as, as, as specifically as what to bring, what they can take, how to get rid of a you know, five bedroom room ho house into a small assisted living and how to make the most of that move without a lot of stress for the entire family. So that's our really new exciting program. We work a lot with dementia, um, Alzheimer's facilities, mental health, um, and physical and catastrophic uh, illnesses that uh, we need to find the right specific environment for. And that sounds like a fantastic yeah. uh, program. And I know that uh, you have a website that uh, has some excellent tips on what to ask, what to look for, mm -hmm. Uh, how to have the proper advocate like yourself to be the spokesperson for the family. And yes. if, if you could tell us how somebody can uh, access you and connect with you. Okay. Um, we are always available by telephone. Um, I will give you that phone number, but our website, as Jonathan was describing, has a lot of information and a lot of questions, and you can even enter questions in to me directly through that site. That is www.caremanage.com. I'll spell it. It's www.caremanage.com. And our phone number, our office is in Delray Beach, but we service the Tri-County area, Miami through Jupiter, 561-266-3489. 561-266-3489, and you can ask for Amy directly. Thank you. And remember, Amy is going to be on your side. She will be a spokesperson. She will be your support person 
for all of your needs when it comes to taking care of your loved ones, your friends, your colleagues to make sure that they get the proper health care that they deserve. For more information about AdvoCare and the work that Amy does, visit caremanage.com.